Our team coverage moves to Orlando International Airport. That is where we find News 6's Maris Badcock. She's been watching the big board as delays and cancellations start to come in. Maris. I've been checking FlightAware's misery map all day long. It's a map which shows you the most miserable airports in the country in real time. And guess what? Orlando is actually not one of the most miserable airports right now. But I can tell you, some people here, they are feeling pretty miserable after spending multiple days here and dealing with multiple cancellations trying to get home for Christmas. There's a lot of hostility in the airport. Weather woes and holiday chaos. We waited an hour and 24 minutes. We have to wait for like six hours, I think, right? Colliding at Orlando International Airport. Oh, we are trying to find the next flight. As travelers scramble to make their flights or make other arrangements. I live in Chicago. So you're trying to get back there? We're trying to get back there. Janet Perry and her family have literally no end in sight to their cancellation chaos. It's been a crazy ride. Um, we were here yesterday and it got canceled. So they booked us again today from Frontier and that was canceled. So now they can't explain, well, when we're going to leave out or what time we can get moving again. According to FlightAware, at least 117 flights have been canceled in and out of Orlando, with the majority of cancellations coming from Southwest, Frontier, and Spirit. So far, Orlando has had at least 335 delayed flights, numbers expected to climb as the evening continues. And even if you make it to the gate, you may not make it on the plane. They overbooked it, I believe, and then they got their weights and balances off. So one counter uh, that lady allowed them, but others, uh, we, the other counters did not allow us at the, at the same time. Why didn't they allow you? They said that no, the time is done. That man you just saw, half of his family made it to Cancun, and the other half were denied boarding because of a cutoff time, even though they walked up to the ticket counter together. You guys want to see a quick Christmas miracle? I just want to show you. Check out this TSA line. It's the shortest we have ever seen. So if you are trying to make a flight right now, chances are you're going to make it. Yesterday, we saw a lot of long lines at ticket counters waiting for people to check bags. Save yourself the trouble and the panic. If you don't have to check a bag today, don't do it. Just just walk straight to the gate. Reporting from Orlando International Airport, Terminal A, I'm Maris Badcock, getting results, News 6. Yeah, Maris, you could tell my wife all day, don't check a bag, but she's definitely <laughs> not that, packing yeah. the correct amount to be able to walk <laughs> on with it. Thank you very much.